What actually happens when acid is introduced into the body? Well, buffers take care of it. What are buffers? Buffers act like sponges, taking up hydrogen ions when there's too much of them and releasing them when there's too little. The primary buffers in the body are bicarbonate, or HCO3-, hemoglobin, phosphate, and bone. 60% of buffering happens intracellularly, and 40% happens extracellularly. The primary buffer in the extracellular compartment is bicarbonate. Let's see what happens when acid is added into the body. Let's talk about metabolic acidosis. So in metabolic acidosis, there's an excess of hydrogen ions. And what happens to these hydrogen ions? They combine with bicarbonate in order to form carbonic acid. So as hydrogen ions increase, bicarbonate decreases. And what happens to carbonic acid? Well, that dissociates into water and carbon dioxide. And what happens to carbon dioxide? Well, carbon dioxide, as you might already know, is then eliminated and exhaled through the lungs. We can adjust carbon dioxide elimination through hyper and hypoventilation. For completeness sake, it's important to understand that this equilibrium also works into the other direction. So when the patient is hypoventilating, carbon dioxide is accumulating and combines with water to form carbonic acid, which then dissociates into hydrogen ions and bicarb. So hydrogen ions will go up in hypoventilation and the pH will consequently drop. You'll learn more about this equilibrium and the association between the respiratory and the metabolic system in the upcoming modules.